On Health News Tonight, doctors rethinking how to treat cancer in kids. And Dr. Malika Marshall shows us some doctors now think you can do more for children by actually doing less. Please. Shooting hoops, Please. something these brothers don't take for granted. At age seven, Garrett Stringer found out he had acute lymphocytic leukemia. I had a flag football game was supposed to, and my legs were just throbbing, killing me. And so, I mean, you know, we took Tylenol, tried to just thought it was a growing pain, just tried to stretch. Two years later, his younger brother Gatlin had the same diagnosis at age three. Today, both are cancer survivors and have benefited from an approach that involves gentler cancer treatment for some children. A new study tracked more than 34,000 childhood cancer survivors over several decades. And what it's shown that over the years, um, the rates of children of childhood cancer survivors dying from a complication of their cancer treatment is becoming less and less. It showed more limited use of radiation, avoiding certain drugs, and changing the way chemo is given has not hurt kids' chances of survival. It also cut down on what's known as late effects, damage to the heart, lungs, or other organs caused by some radiation and chemotherapy treatments. They'll have a better quality of life as survivors, um, and then also their treatment will be less intense. And I think even learning um, these things along the way creates less distress um, for the families. Something Marcia Stringer has seen firsthand. People would never guess that they <coughs> had cancer. They're so healthy and doing well in school and able to play sports and they live just very normal lives. So um, how great is that for, for parents and kids that you know, this is still happening to you, and I hope that people see this and it gives them hope. Now at 20, Garrett worries less about his health and more on improving his brake shot. Experts point out that 50 years ago, less than 30% of kids with cancer survived, but now over 80% will. And the fact that they can help those 80% live healthier lives as they age obviously makes cancer specialists very happy. So some good news on the cancer front. Great news for parents, too, just to see that the quality of life is improving as well. Exactly. Excellent. Thank you, doctor. My pleasure.